what is going on youtube today we have a very special project that we are going to be talking about it allows users to monetize their excess bandwidth specifically in the context of training artificial intelligence models i just said a whole bunch of buzzwords that are pretty confusing but if you stick around until the end you will understand what this project is how to get started how you can start earning today the security and data concerns associated, and last but not least, get a firm understanding of what this project is trying to do, their value proposition, and how they fit in the artificial intelligence ecosystem. My name is DeFi Daddy, and I'm here to teach you a thing or two about crypto. So subscribe to this channel and let's dive in. Jumping right in, the best place to start, I think, is their Twitter. When you visit their page, which is getgrass underscore IO, you'll see yours truly following. That is, of course, if you follow me, which you should. Uh, that being said, when you look at their page, they have a very easy to understand ecosystem. They have a website, getgrass.io. They are powered by Wind Network, which from my understanding is the parent company of their corporate structure. We'll talk about that. We'll get to that. The thing that I want to focus on is they have posted this image just about everywhere and it explains their role in the AI ecosystem. The short, non-technical answer is simple. You are training AI. The complex answer is a bit more complicated. Remember, this project is still in closed beta. If you need an invite link, I have put one in the description. There's one in our Discord community, which, oh geez, you should probably join. One on the Twitter, etc. You need an invite link if you're getting involved with this ecosystem. And for transparency purposes, I will make a percentage of what you make in the grass ecosystem. Let's continue. I'm going to do my best to break down this graph. Full disclaimer, I am not an AI expert. I probably know more than most of the population, but I know a lot less than the most educated. Be nice. Let's start with the top left. So a grass node is basically best understand if you choose to get involved with the ecosystem, install, install the extension, you are hosting a grass node. Effectively, that means you are the middleman between an AI model evaluation and web servers, right? You've all heard about ChatGPT, you've heard about Grok, every tech company is coming out with a large language model. These need to be trained because when you break down what they do, all they do is guess what is the next best word to say. That's what a large language model does. It needs to be trained, which means it needs input and output. Conversely, when you look on the bottom side of this graph towards the bottom right, the grass nodes are also involved with data and analysis and preparation before it is fed into the model training and validation steps. You might notice a familiar name there, BitTensor, which ticker is Tau. And if you've been involved with crypto at all for the last six months, you've probably heard that name. So you, it's clear to understand that this grass project is involved with two sides of this complex AI data infrastructure problem. And please, if you are still watching this video, remember to subscribe to the channel for real crypto alpha. Remember, this project is still in beta and it is me putting it on your radar. Just because it's coming out now doesn't mean you have to get involved now. Subscribe to the channel and let's continue. So now that you have a basic idea of what this protocol program slash value capture actually is, let's talk about the parent company, Wind. Wind tagged in their bio on Twitter, when you go ahead and open the page, empowering access to public data through a mechanism that we just went over and hopefully understand. And they have a fundraising tweet, which I wanna zoom in on. So they were led by No Limit Holdings with participation from Big Brain Holdings, Builder Capital, Cogitin Investors. These are relatively big names within the space. And when you hover over them on Twitter, Lots of followers, lots of mutual followers, which to a degree, I think, provides a large amount of social capital, right? This is, in theory, kind of vetting the project, right? If other people follow them that you trust, it's some extrapolation of trust. That being said, it's not a guarantee, but you are seeing these big names. There's one that I want to zoom in on, this No Limit HODL. Never in my life have I heard of this fund, but it seems like they led this fundraising round. They are an investment partnership of global crypto assets backed on a deep conviction that blockchain technology will drive value creation across most business sectors. They have been involved with a lot of other projects like Binance US, 
um, Mento, another one that I've heard in, Sui, another one that I've heard in, Vibe Labs, Wind Network. They have some heavy hitters. This person was involved as a strategy offer for Binance. Um, this person is a native crypto officer for a family office and a hedge fund. Yeah. This one has also involved a head of APAC institutional business at Binance. These are some heavy hitters. And again, although this is not a guarantee, they have been funded by some large names within the space that have exhibited a high degree of credibility in the past. In regards to data privacy and security, there is something you need to be aware of. By adding this extension to your Google Chrome, you are effectively doing an MITB. In the world of cybersecurity, that means man in the browser. And here is exactly what that really means. By choosing to install the GRASS plugin into your Google Chrome browser, it is going to filter the information that comes in and the filter the information that comes out, right? That is what it's using your bandwidth for. Now, in the context where you type in your password through the same Google Chrome window, that could leave you vulnerable. Remember, this project is still in beta and despite the green lights from the fundraising perspective, the social credibility, you want to protect yourself in crypto. So if you are ever typing in secure passwords into your Google Chrome, turn off grass, turn on your VPN, do what you need to do and then return to it. Another way that you can be extra more safe is turning on two-factor authentication, which frankly you should have on anyways. In addition, there is HTTPS protocol, which is the little lock that you see in the top of your web browser, which means your password is encrypted when it is submitted. That is something that you should really be looking out for if you are going to be logging into sites with your grass add-on enabled. Remember this, if the product is free, you are the product. This is a very new technology and frankly you should exercise caution if you choose to get involved with the grass ecosystem. I'd recommend doing some more due diligence on the other people who have founded this project to get a firm understanding of who they are, where their money comes from, and their track record, right? Do your own research because not everyone in crypto has your best intent in mind. One of the best ways that you can protect yourself from the security and data risks associated with this product is run it inside a virtual machine. That is a very complex term for an operating inside an operating system to limit the amount of data availability to this protocol. Although this might result in diminishing returns for the yield, it is a much safer way to control how much data is being distributed. Another way if you have complex networking access is create an isolated network to reduce the amount of contagion of information spread across different networks. Again, these are just general safety concerns and you should think hard about if you want to take this risk and get involved with GRASS. Another option that you could do to reduce risk would be install this product into an older computer or older piece of technology that you're no longer using. Like we said earlier, it is already available on Android and will be available on iPhone soon. Again, these are just considerations that you can use as a consumer to reduce your risk because essentially, at the end of the day, you are selling your data. Okay, so now we're going to talk about this website. So earn passive income by sharing your unused network resources. Your view of the internet is valuable you should get paid for it. And by the way, if you want to sign up for this, I'm going to put an exclusive invite in the description. Be sure to check it out because that is your only way to get involved right now. Their website very well made. And as you scroll down and get a clear understanding of what their dashboard looks like, and yes, they have a working product. This is what their dashboard already looks like. If you have the extension loaded up, it is in the background to earn 24 seven. Ultimately, there's a very good website that I'm gonna play right looking now. looking for a source of passive income these days. What if all it took was an internet connection? Like most people, you probably use a fraction of the internet bandwidth you pay for each month. Now you can sell the parts you don't use with Grass, an innovative solution that transforms your idle internet connection into a profitable resource. But how does it work? Grass is what's known as a residential proxy network where vetted institutions and Fortune 500 companies can rent idle internet connections to access the web. You see, every time you connect to the internet, you provide a unique location-based perspective. This perspective is essential for companies trying to better understand the web, and this is what GRASS monetizes for you. Consider company A wants to sell a stereo at the lowest price. To do this, they need to know what their competitor is charging at company B. Using Grass, Company A looks at Company B's website to check out their price and then offers an even better price to their customers. By providing this service, your internet connection can become a source of passive income, turning an idle resource into an active asset. 
With Grass, every gigabyte of internet you sell earns you rewards. These aren't just rewards, they're your stake in this growing network. The more your computer stays connected and the more friends you refer, the more your rewards multiply. Start your journey to passive income with Grass. Join Okay, so I think it's pretty clear to understand where the value actually comes from, right? Um, I'd recommend, of course, doing your own research, scrolling through this website yourself. Um, it is important to know that with the affiliate structure, if you choose to use the invite that I put in the description, I will make a percentage of your returns. It won't come out of your chunk. It is in excess of. That's what you need to know. But I'd really recommend checking out their website for themselves. Now let's talk about how to get started. If you did decide to get involved with the Grass Network, this is the first thing that you would see. Clicking on the link in the description will take you right here where the referral code is already pasted in. You would sign up for an account. It would then prompt you to download the Grass extension. It is the one with 4.9 stars on the Google Chrome Web Store. Lots of ratings. This is what it looks like. You'd install it, you'd add it to Chrome, and then you would be ready to go. Now, depending on your preset settings with Google Chrome, you might have to open the extension itself. By clicking on the puzzle icon in the top right of your Google Chrome window, like I have seen, you can then click on the grass extension and it will begin running in the background for the entire time that your Google Chrome window is open. It will not run when that window is closed and will only run while you have Google Chrome windows open. Regarding compensation and payout, it's in beta, so right now you are earning these points that will be eligible for payout in the future. But that calls into question, well, how do you really get paid out? On this website, you will see Grass Rewards will be automatically credited to your account. We're exploring payment methods such as cryptocurrency in brackets, network ownership, gift cards, and PayPal updates to be shared with the community. Like I said, you are early. You are early. Frankly, to me, it makes the most sense that they release a token, especially when they put the words network ownership in brackets. That's the same idea with Helium and other IoT protocols functioning as real world asset mechanisms, right? To me, although it is not guaranteed, an airdrop seems the most likely. Before you jump into the Grass ecosystem, I think you should read the FAQ. This is going to answer how your data is handled, how your security is secure, and overall how the project functions. Like I said, it's still in beta. They're updating this. They haven't given us all the information regarding an airdrop, but the blog is where these updated stories are coming out. So for example, the Android app launched on November 30th and the iPhone app is in production. The blog is a great place to stay informed with Grass updates. The dashboard is very clean and intuitive and it is updated in real time. There is a bit of a latency when you first get started, but I found after 24 hours from starting, it was being updated in real time. As you can see in the middle of my screen here, lifetime earnings was 2,620 with today's earnings being 43. Ultimately, this is the dashboard where you can generate your own referral and get other people involved because that affiliate scheme is quite appetizing for getting other people involved in the grass ecosystem. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you feel compelled to get involved with the grass network that is still in beta stage, there's an exclusive invite code in the description below. There's one in the discord. You already heard that blah, 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 blah. Thank you for watching. Take care.